My name is Julie Boyd and this tutorial shows you how to do the two basic stitches that are used when creating an e-textile circuit. That's an over sewing stitch and a running stitch. The over sewing stitches are used to hold the LEDs in place and the same with the cell holder um, and the running stitch are the stitches that um, join the LED and the cell holder together. To start the over sewing stitch I brought my thread up onto the right side of the fabric and I'm just going to pop the needle through the hole in the, um, the cell holder. Just holding it with my, my thumb and my finger um, into position on my fabric and then taking my needle to one side um, into the fabric and up through into the hole again. So that stitch that's going to now encase the side of the cell holder is called an over sewing stitch. So just do that again. So here it's coming out the centre of the hole now, putting my needle into the side of the hole going under um, at the, the, the actual um, rim of the cell holder. So I'm going through into the fabric and up through the fabric in the centre of the hole. There you can see this little sort of bar where the needle um, is going across the fabric. And generally we would do that um, five or six times and it's all in the same spot. So I talk about um, when I'm, I'm teaching this um, that it's not spider's legs it's where all the um, uh, stitches are clustered together um, in one section as you can see just there. The second stitch is a running stitch and this is going to take us from um, the hole in the cell holder to our LED or whatever else it is that we, it is that we've got down here. I've currently got my thread on the back of my fabric so I'm just going to bring it up to the front just turn my fabric round slightly and I'm going to go into my fabric and then up again. So we can see on the back we've got the bar where the needle is as it goes into the material. It doesn't really matter how long these stitches are, it really depends on your fabric and um, where your circuit's going to be and whether these stitches are going to be caught. Um, I suppose mine are about I don't know, a centimetre or so long and apart. So into the fabric again and up again just sort of slightly further forward. You can do it as two actions, so you can do it where you go into the fabric, pull it through from the back, and from the back up through to the front. Um, um, I find the first way of doing it, where you do it all in one one go, slightly easier to do. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive new tutorials as they are uploaded. Visit the website julieboy.co.uk for all things D&T, especially textiles. And that includes free resources, a weekly DNT newsletter, and course information.